Today's evening devotional. Healing for sin sick souls. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot even unto the head there is no soundness in it, but wounds, and bruises, and putrefying sores, they have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Isaiah chapter 1 verses 5 and 6. There is a remedy for the sin-sick soul. That remedy is in Jesus. Precious Savior. His grace is sufficient for the weakest, and the strongest must also have his grace or perish. I saw how this grace could be obtained. Go to your closet, and there alone plead with God. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Be in earnest, be sincere. Jacob-like, wrestle in prayer. Agonize. You must make an effort. Seek the Lord with all your heart. Come with zeal, and when you sincerely feel that without the help of God you perish, when you pant after him as the heart panteth after the water brooks, then will the Lord strengthen you speedily. Then will your peace pass all understanding. If you expect salvation, you must pray. Take time. Be not hurried and careless in your prayers. Beg of God to work in you a thorough reformation, that the fruits of his spirit may dwell in you, and you shine as lights in the world. Be not a hindrance or curse to the cause of God, you can be a help, a blessing. Does Satan tell you that you cannot enjoy salvation full and free? Believe him not. I saw that it is the privilege of every Christian to enjoy the deep movings of the Spirit of God. A sweet, heavenly peace will pervade the mind, and you will love to meditate upon God in heaven. You will feast upon the glorious promises of his word. If professed Christians love Jesus better than the world, they will love to speak of him, their best friend, in whom their highest affections are centered. He came to their aid when they felt their lost and perishing condition. When weary and heavy laden with sin, they turned unto him. He removed their burden of guilt and sin, and turned the whole current of their affections. The things they once loved, they now hate, and the things they hated, they now love. Has this great change taken place in you?